Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and your number one Hobart Bay Ones are playing their final regular season game against the California Golden Bears, who are absolutely out of the December drama conversation. They couldn't even make a bowl if the bowl season was still around. They're led by Charles Martin, who, quite frankly, he doesn't have the biggest numbers, but he's got a pretty good touchdown to interception ratio. But man, he is a pocket passer, and we've seen better arms, quite frankly. But he is throwing to Jesse Greenwood. He's got 750 yards on the season so far, so he's not having a bad year. Eight touchdowns. Again, we've seen much better teams than this. His strength is excel in route running, so we should handle them pretty well. Welcome to Berkeley, California, here in War Memorial Stadium, home of the California Golden Bears. They're just trying to play spoiler for Hobart Bay, and even then, they just knock Hobart Bay down the peg. It'd prevent them from winning the Pac-12 North. As you can see here, officially lower than Boise State, but they have the tiebreaker, so a win today will put them over the Broncos and give them the division win. Washington State is trying to stay in the December drama conversation. They might, even if they do lose to Washington, but they have to beat Washington to guarantee. Oregon would really need to get lucky with a good final win if they even want to come close to consideration. You never know. Maybe there will be chaos down in the lower rankings. But for Hobart Bay, long as they don't blow it, they're going to have this one well in hand, and they will take the Pac-12 North. So we have kickoff in the final regular season game of the Hobart Bay Dynasty. Timothy Paulson takes this one out and he does not even get back to the 20-yard line so it would have been better just letting the ball go into the end zone. First down and 10 bringing out the split backfield. We love to use it. Hand off to John Gordon with a solid run. Great blocking to start. Gets him a first down on the very first play and over 1,200 yards with December drama, he might actually break Tyree Nolan's single season rushing record. But again, that would be with a whole lot more uh, games to run in. And there he gets seven more yards. Who knows? Maybe if we just use him as a workhorse like we did against Texas, then we could really get him that record. And off again up the middle. No problem there. Simple business run. Five yards. Managed to fall forward when he lost his balance. Second down and eight. We're going to keep it to John Gordon. Why not? Another first down. The O-line is dominating the Cal D-line. And it's just giving him all the space in the world. Now with trips to the right, and we will throw, and it's a screen, to John Gordon, who gets two great blocks, trying to outrun one more man. Can't quite do it. Even so, 24 yards for John Gordon. He is the entirety of this offense right now. He and the O-line. First down. Let me guess, it's going to be another run? Guessed correctly, John Gordon, he gets six yards, okay. I was going to say he fights ahead, but there wasn't much fighting. Second down and four, another run. Indeed it is, a counter this time, and he, oh, big hit, but they gave him the first. I think that's a little generous on the spot, but I won't argue. Second down and goal now, not the split, still a handoff. John Gordon doesn't get the end zone is not one yard to go everyone in the goal line formation let's see who wants it more and off Gordon no Cal crowded the center of that line and they managed to keep him out but Hobart Bay is still going to go for it split backfield Cal they're not really stacking the box a lot and off John Gordon and he walks in untouched for a Hobart Bay touchdown 10 runs 51 yards plus a screen catch as well. It was all John Gordon and the O-line on this one. Remember the O-line because they dominated. It's Cal's turn to see if they can put up such a dominant drive. That one drive by Hobart Bay almost took the entire first quarter and now that one is not caught. Charles Martin wanted it, but a good pass break up there. Third down and five now. Let's see if Cal can do anything. Charles Martin, he has all day. Now running out of time, he gets it out. And it's caught by Jesse Greenwood. You've got to be kidding me. It was an off-balance throw, and he got it. Great play by Jesse Greenwood to come back and catch the ball. Not taking that away from him. But wow, that's quite an arm by Charles Martin. I did not expect that, and now he goes down, eating the turf. 
That's Jeff Walker flying in for the sack. Hobart Bay brought the house there, and it's a good three-yard sack. That will end the first quarter. Cal still hasn't finished their first drive. We'll see how it ends in the second. A second and 13 is not exactly what you want to start with on a quarter. They're going to start with a handoff, though. Michael Leak falling ahead. I guess he kept his balance, but not for long. Still gets six yards. It's a good run by Leak. He had a good game a couple years ago against us, but man, those times seem so long ago. Charles Martin runs out of time, and that one is Jonathan Stone. He gets there for the sack, and now what will Cal do? They're going to kick a long field goal from 55 yards out. And that one had no chance whatsoever. He needed to kick to the right, and he kicked to the left. So, Hobart Bay ball, still no score for Cal. That was the end of their first drive as John Gordon on the outside handoff this time picks up another solid seven yards. This man is dominating. The O-line is dominating. Wow. Second down and three. Looks like they'll go for another screen pass this time. Gordon gets caught up, and the ball is on the turf, and Cal picks it up. Cooper, oh, if... If he'd been a little bit faster, maybe he could have gotten out of that pile, but was that really a fumble? John Gordon lost the ball, and yeah, it's a fumble, no review. So Cal gets another shot at this drive, and Michael Leak, he says, I'll make the most of it. Gets nine and a half, ten yards on that. Second and inches. I'd be surprised if he didn't convert on this. He's going to try and throw Martin. He gets sacked. Oh, my goodness. That is really the worst thing you could possibly do. Jeff Walker again getting his second sack of the game. Man, good for him. Third down and seven. What's Cal going to do here? They can't, can't really take a sack. Charles Martin gets it out, and it's almost intercepted by, I think, Felix DeChambeau. That may have been Oscar McGee. It's hard to tell. Fourth down and seven. They just punt the ball away. Good punt, I think. But uh, yeah, Cal just squanders an opportunity to score. Hobart Bay down at the eight yard line, so it was a good punt. John Gordon again getting the call and he loses two yards on this one. Cal I think is starting to recognize a pattern. Second and 12, Hobart Bay perhaps wants some more room and John Gordon up the middle. Somehow fall on top of a man and get seven yards out of it. I don't know how. Third down and five. Play call here is a pass. He swings it out to John Gordon. One man to beat. He just got enough. Six yards and Hobart Bay extends the drive. And once again, it's just to John Gordon. First down and ten. Kale Snow is in the game and he keeps on the option. Goes out to the left and he lost the ball and it's picked up by Wynn. You've got to be kidding me. Back-to-back -back fumbles by Hobart Bay and Cal again gets a chance. This is astounding. Three and a half to go. Charles Martin will find Jesse Greenwood off of the play action, and it's first down and goal for Cal. The Golden Bears have just been gifted opportunities. Despite how dominant Hobart Bay has actually been, it's still only a seven point game. Getting somewhat close to the end of the second is Charles Martin. He throws, and it's knocked out of the hands of Higgins. Higgins had his hands on it, but it was not, he was not able to come down with it. Second down and goal. We're going to try for a throw again. Martin he needs to get rid of it. He does not, and Jonathan Stone, despite getting completely upended, goes and gets his second sack of the half. Third down and goal. You need to get into the end zone on this play, or at least make it a manageable fourth. They go to Leak instead, and Jonathan Stone read it all the way. He gets a tackle for a loss on that one. Fourth down and goal, and Cal's just going to try and kick a field goal. He kicked to the left last time. Will he do it this time? Yes, he will, and it even goes between the uprights. It's actually a really good kick. So Hobart Bay will try not to fumble this time. Two straight fumbles. It's very uncommon for these guys. As Kale Snow will not fumble the ball. He holds on this time. Bringing up a second down and three. Brett Stone back in the game. He will throw, or at least wants to, and he just gets it out. John Gordon again. He 
got some help on the edge right there. I think that was Ken Anderson. Maybe Bentley's Weebel. Sometimes hard to tell from a distance. First down and 10. Still got Brett Stone in there. Going to keep him in for the passing is Ken Anderson on that one. Made a nice move. How about that? By Ken Anderson. Made one man just fall to his death. The other man failed to tackle him. And then he even still got extra yards after first contact on the last guy. That's caught by Bentley Zwiebel this time. Down at the 12. Hobart Bay is driving down. And there, there's the obligatory graphic about Kale Snow. Every single time he has his first pass in the game. We have to put up that graphic. First down and 10. And that's a wide open Gordon Jenkins who gets across the goal line for a Hobart Bay touchdown. A great drive by Hobart Bay. Brett Stone has only missed one pass all day. 26 seconds left on the clock. I don't think Cal's going to do anything with that. So at halftime, it's 14-3 Hobart Bay. And Cal gets the ball to start the second half. Despite the score, it's been a much more lopsided game. Hobart Bay is just dominated with the run game. I mean, Cal can't really do anything to stop that. And even when the run game isn't working out, like when Hobart Bay fumbles twice in a row, or when they just get stopped in the backfield, the passing game always works. And usually that's the John Gordon today. Like John Gordon and the O-line. Those guys are the MVPs of the day. Cal needs to replicate that somehow. Second down and two, all men in there. They go with a play action. Charles Martin just got it out and Moore was wide open. Hobart Bay sent the house. It did not pay off. Almost did, but it did not. So Rob Moore gets himself a nice catch there. What will Cal follow up with? They have trips to the right. They're gonna run an option and Charles Martin does not pitch the ball away. Jonathan Stone gets a tackle for loss, not officially a sack. He's having a great day today. Third down and 11, same formation. What are they going to do? They're actually going to throw this time. Charles Martin gets it out, and that is caught on the sideline, Chad Johnson. That man is a Chad for making that catch. Second down and five coming up. They seem to like this high formation. Perhaps that's why they keep on losing. Charles Martin gets it out. Leak. He gets past Methuselah, but cannot get the first down, just inches short. Very close there. And surprisingly, not going with the eye. Simple halfback ISO would suffice. Instead, he has time, and that one is intercepted by David Nelson. They needed a couple inches. Inches. And instead, they throw an interception inside the five. That is is horrible. Cal seems allergic to the end zone today. Hand off to John Gordon following his blocks. He picks up 14 yards. This isn't even hard. My goodness. Cal, you need to work on your defense. You need to work on your offense. Quite frankly, with this performance, I'm surprised that Cal has four wins. Maybe they got them against all group of five. Well, no, they have two conference wins. This is crazy. I don't know how they managed it. Brett Stone on the keeper has all the room in the world eventually chased down. But another 31 yards, the Cal defense can't do anything. They just can't. The O-line for Hobart Bay is having a historic day today. A team best for sure. John Gordon on the screen has some more room. Great following of the blocks. More than anything, I think John Gordon has read the blocking so much better than normal. And now we're going to toss it to him. He's got the outside edge, and that's a touchdown again for Hobart Bay. Going to make this a three-score game, and there's not really any hearty celebrations. More or less, that's what's expected. Now a minute left in the third. What's Cal going to try? A little play action again. Charles Martin gets it out, and it's caught there on the sideline by Chad Johnson. And they should try that more. Hobart Bay tends to be weak on the sidelines, except when you give them all day to catch up to a lob that's 20 yards down the field and there's no room for the receiver to move. In which case, you get a pick. Second down and 12 now for the Golden Bears. They need to do something. And they're going to do a play action. And Charles Martin, he has some time. He throws, and it's picked off by Jeff Walker. 
Jeff Walker already has a bunch of tackles for loss, just gets perched out before he goes to the end zone. He could have had a pick six there. He was very close. Jeff Walker has two sacks, three tackles for loss, and now a pick. The man is balling today. And at the end of three, I think it's obvious who's going to win this one. Great starting field position to start the third quarter for Hobart Bay. Third down and six, though. They're still going to hand it off, and John Gordon will find the room to get a first down. He almost fell into the end zone. Cal, what in the world are you thinking today? Second down and goal. Hobart Bay hand off. John Gordon, an easy touchdown. Tackled after the play, but no flag thrown. There never is any flag thrown for that. And I think that's probably going to be the game. Hobart Bay would have to pull an Atlanta Falcons, or Cal would have to pull a New England Patriots, whichever one you prefer. Charles Martin will start off by getting sacked. Is that Jeff Walker again? It is. Oh, you can't be serious. That man is a monster today. Having the game of his life. Hand off to Michael Leak on the draw, and somehow he finds enough for a first down. He gets 25 yards off of a draw play. Wow, I am usually against draw plays because normally they suck, but on that one he breaks the Cal record for most career rushing yards. Congrats to Michael Lee, great play. Great career, I guess. I mean, Cal doesn't really have a lot to show for it, but okay. Charles Martin, he'll unload and that is picked off Jeff Walker again. This man has had the game of his life. He saved his best for last, let me tell you. And that's going to end the game. No more scoring from here on out. Hobart Bay dominates the Golden Bears 28-3. Perhaps not as high scoring as you might have expected, but Hobart Bay, today they're just like, let's run the clock, let's get this game over with. We don't want to injure our starters. Let's, you know, let's win the division, call it good, and we'll be on our way. And that's exactly what they did. Player of the game goes to John Gordon. I can't blame them for giving him that, but honestly, I would give it to Jeff Walker or to not Jonathan Stone, but Jonathan Stone also had a fantastic game. But Jeff Walker for sure. The O-line, you could grant them collectively the player of the game because they were phenomenal today. I don't think Brett Stone or Kale Snow, either of them, I don't think either of them took a sack. That is how great they were. They gave John Gordon all the space that he needed 99% of the time. I mean, they were fantastic. This was just such a good performance all around. I can't pinpoint any one, quite frankly, pinpointing one guy is a bit unfair. One of the most dominant team performances in the final regular season game. We get to go over it in the stats. Another day, another dominant win, and these guys had no problem through the air. Brett Stone 8 for 9, 137, a touchdown, no picks. I was right, no sacks. Kale Snow had one completion too. John Gordon, 120 yards, three touchdowns. Did lose the ball, so did Kale Snow. But through the air, obviously not a lot there. But John Gordon, the running back, was the top receiver. Ken Anderson got some. Gordon Jenkins got our one touchdown catch of the day. Defensively, only four tackles was the most by anyone, but Jeff Walker, none assisted, three for loss, three all of them sacks, and two picks. Jonathan Stone got four tackles for loss of two sacks, but no picks. So both of those guys had great games. For Cal, it was Charles Reed, uh, one tackle for loss, seven total. There wasn't a lot for them today. Not at all. On the receiving end, again, not a lot. Jesse Greenwood, 52 yards on two catches. He disappeared after the first half. Chad Johnson took his place in the second half. And uh, yeah, not a lot. And rushing Charles Martin's sacks was over half of what Michael Leak got on the ground. It wasn't good. And speaking of Charles Martin, 11 for 19, 130. No touchdowns and three picks in the end. One was late. He took five sacks too. And it was just a terrible game. When you look at this, this is a rare instance of Hobart Bay 
beating a team in every single category. It wasn't even close. And with that, we will end the regular season number one. Remember, these teams are all guaranteed. End of regular season, top 25 are all guaranteed. Hope Arpe is number one. Auburn is number two. Clemson, three. Georgia Tech, four. Cincinnati is number five. Boise State takes the sixth spot. Washington, who lost to Washington State, they're seven. UCF is eight. Wyoming is number nine at two losses, too. Number 10 is North Northern Illinois, sorry. Michigan, 11. Nebraska, 12. Washington State goes all the way to 13. That's crazy. 14 for Florida State. 15 for South Florida. That's cool. 16 for Minnesota. They went 10 and 2. 17 for TCU. 18 for Ohio State. 19 for Arkansas State. 20th for Rutgers. 21 for Arkansas. 22 for Marshall. 23 for Fresno State at four losses. Wow. 24 for Miami, who's 9-3. And, and Buffalo is number 25. You know who I'm not seeing here? I am not seeing UCLA. They fell out of the rankings. They lost three games in a row to teams that ended 5-7. And, and their last loss was a blowout loss. They still make the Pac-12 championship. And quite frankly, if they lose, I don't think they're making it. So, I hope to see you there in Denver for the Pac-12 Championship. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.